A rare Civil War sword ends up in a Hawaii jewelry store. Bizarre. It turns out it belonged to a Massachusetts soldier who fought in one of the most brutal battles of the Civil War. KITV Force Cam Tran gives you an up close look at this unique find. It's all new tonight at 6. When you walk into the Pacific Diamond and Swiss Watch Exchange, you can expect to find some unique jewelry, sparkling diamonds, and high end watches. But one item in this shop is perhaps the most priceless of them all, this 150-year-old Civil War sword. I bought it on pure, uh, you, know, you know, enjoyment. I thought it was cool. The shop's owner, Ted Gonzalez, bought the sword in 2012. I purchased it from a fellow who, uh, when somebody passes on, they, uh, they do the cleanup of the homes. Gonzalez doesn't know how the sword ended up in Hawaii. Despite the fact the owner's name, Lieutenant Ed Coe, was inscribed in the scabbard, the shop owner wasn't even sure if it was real or not, so it sat in his office for years. That is until one of his customers did some digging and found some intriguing history behind the sword. It turns out Lieutenant Cole served in the 57th Massachusetts Regiment, and his friends from Worcester presented him the sword as a gift. A National Park Service historian confirms Lieutenant Cole was shot and killed during the Battle of Petersburg in 1864, where more than 70,000 soldiers died. Lieutenant Cole was just 19 years old. On his first charge, he was actually shot, and his peers seen him fall, and they thought he had died in battle. Miraculously, he got up and he charged again, and he was just stunned. But he had a premonition he was going to die in battle the next day. Uh, coincidentally enough, he was shot at the exact same place where he was shot the first time, and uh, he died at that point. Though Gonzalez says he's gotten offers of up to $20,000 for the sword, he decided to sell it to the Petersburg National Battlefield in Virginia, where Lieutenant Coe's body lies. Now I can go to a place where, you know, uh, it could be enjoyed, you know, forever. The sword is expected to be shipped to the mainland sometime next week. In the meantime, though, Gonzalez says you can swing by his shop on Kapiolani Boulevard and check out the sword for yourself in person. Reporting from the Ala Moana area, Camp Tran, KITV4 News. Wow, incredible. Mm -hmm. And historians say it is very rare to have a sword old enough to be inscribed. But the inscription, along with the military documentation, made it easier to track down the story behind the sword. And so wonderful for him to sell it to that museum so so many mm -hmm. others can also enjoy it. Yeah.